<clears throat> Hello and welcome to another episode of Moose's Gear Goo Review. I'm Moose, and today I have another knife review, and that is of this one. This thing's so cool. It's like an eyeball. See that? It's kind of in there. This is the Best Tech. Oh, my dirty, dirty blade. Uh, this is the Best Tech Eye of Raw. I was cutting open some packaging with it. I'll have to get some alcohol for that. Uh, just know that that is not how the blade comes. I was actually using it. you got to test it, right? Uh, so this is the Best Tech Eye of Raw. Uh, super cool offering from Best Tech. Uh, I got this over at KnifeCenter.com. Uh, so I will leave links in the description as always. But as you can see, there's that eye cut out in the handle. And uh, hence why it's kind of called the Eye of Raw. Uh, but let's uh, check out some specs and we'll get into it. Uh, so the overall length, blade length, is 3.37 or 3.38 inches. The uh, closed handle length is 4.57 inches. The overall length is just under 8 inches. Um, and yeah, the blade thickness is 0.125 inches thick. So a little thin for the size. And the overall weight is 4.2 ounces. So there you have it. Um, so yeah, when, <laughs> you know, sometimes there's different reasons why people buy knives. And I'm sure I've stated this multiple times before. Um, but uh, one of the reasons why I pulled the trigger on this one was purely because of the name. It is called The Eye of Raw. And I think that is just super cool. Um, you know, Egyptian culture and just, they got cool names for things and you know, ever since that movie Stargate came out, I was like, okay, that's cool stuff. Uh, that being said, uh, obviously, like I said before, it has the eye milled out in the handle, and hence the name. But starting with the blade, we have a really nice uh, saber grind uh, plain edge blade here uh, that has a swedge majority of the length of the spine up top here. And uh, this is just a really nice and slicey profile for this knife. Um, you do have some belly and then it just has a, a continuous sweeping blade up and it does come down to a pretty fine point. Um, so very nice, very slicey and, uh, just looks really cool. It is a two-tone blade. We have kind of a stonewash finish up top and then satin, uh, flats or satin grinds for the swedge and the flat grind there. Uh, we do have this nice... Uh, sharpening choil or ricasso and there is some jimping on top as far as branding goes we have the best tech logo and then on the back side we have the d2 stamped on the steel this is a d2 steel blade um, it is a designated flipper and it flips super well and I believe it's on ball bearings because that just flips too nice to not be. Um, there is some jimping on the spine, like I said. A small patch, it's okay. Uh, and there's some jimping on the tab, which I always like on flipper tabs. Uh, the detent locks in enough, and then you just get a flick, and it just pops out. And this thing can, can really fly. It has a very satisfying uh, flip deployment. Uh, going into the handle... Uh, we have the Best Tech stylized pivot there. This one is kind of off-center, um, but that might just be the one that I got, or maybe it's supposed to be like that. But to me, it just seems just tilted a little bit to the, to the right there. Not a huge deal for me, but if you're picky about that, you might want to, you know, be prepared if it doesn't come that way. Um, but overall, it doesn't hinder the function of the knife. Uh, this is a shadow box knife uh you can kind of see the liners this knife is offered in four different colors as far as g10s uh g10 and uh liners uh each one is a different combination i believe so this is the black with like a a bluish chromed blue it looks really cool uh there's a green like an od green with gold and then there's a yellow handle scale and then there's a Orange, orange handle scale, I believe. Um, but I'll leave links in the description below, uh, and you can check out those other variations. 
but I do like this blue black and it just kind of at certain angles that the light just hits and it just looks really cool. Uh, so yeah, going to the handle, we have these contour G10 handle scales. Gives you that eye, looks really cool, and uh, feels good in hand. The ergos are pretty good. So, yeah. There's a lanyard hole. All the other hardware is silver. Uh, there is a G10 backspacer. And then we have a really nice chromed out deep carry pocket clip. Um, the screw isn't necessarily recessed, but it is wide enough to get most pant material through there. Uh, the only thing with... Uh, this is that the pocket clip angles with the butt of the knife. Uh, so you're not always going to get like the perfect flat fit to your pants, depending on how your pants are designed. But it at least matches the angles of the knife and just kind of ties it in. Uh, but it does work pretty good as far as slipping in. I did have one hookup. Um, these cutouts for the eye are a little sharp on the edges. Like they're not chamfered. Um, and so I have a couple times when I'm pulling the knife out, had my pants material get caught on that sharper edge of the eye cutout and kind of just snag. So uh, be aware of that as well. But I could easily take off the pocket clip and kind of sand those down or smooth it out. Um, but yeah, it is a one position pocket clip, right side tip up only. And yeah. Uh, but like I said, I did use it. It cuts really nice. Great for slicing open packages. Uh, really slicey, fast knife. And it's uh, fidget friendly with that flip. I could just do this for ever. Uh, it is a liner lock. Uh, and the liners aren't specifically milled in any sort of way other than the cutouts here. Uh, so it is, it is a little bit heavier than I thought. But uh, with the overall ergots, ergos and stuff, it feels okay in hand. It is 4.2 ounces, so I prefer anything under 3 ounces, but it's still a fun knife. So now we're going to compare it to some other D2 flippers. I got another Best Tech um, Texel here, and you can kind of just see how that is straight, and that one's just kind of tilted. Uh, kind of bugs me a little. I got the Civivi Elementum and the SOG Terminus XR. As you can see, these are all relatively about the same length. Um, the SOG and the Civivi are under three inches. The Texel's three and a quarter, and uh, the Eye of Raw is the big one at about three and a half inches in blade length, uh, depending on where they sit it. But uh, either way, you have it there. Um, Handle wise, they're all fairly similar. Uh, Eye of Raw is the biggest of course it has the biggest blade so we're gonna compare blade thickness the best tech versus the best tech about the same um and weight wise you can feel that the eye of rot is heavier uh, blade thickness similar to the terminus eye of rot is also heavier and the blade thickness to the elementum uh, to me, the Elementum looks slightly bigger, uh, but they do a pretty good job of milling out the Elementum, so the Elementum is really light, uh, and it's a smaller blade, so, but both very cool. And, yeah. All right, so let's get on to the Ugly Brown Glove Test. Boom! Uh, the Contour G10 handle skill scales do feel really good in hand. They did a really nice job as far as like getting those those grooves cut in. Uh, the one thing I would have liked is just on these inside eye cuts here, if they would have just kind of chamfered or rounded those edges a little because they are just a tad sharp. As far as the profile of the handle scales and the liner lock, or the liners, uh, they're all nicely rounded and they're they're comfortable and I don't feel any sharp edges on any of those so that's good um so in hand with the cloth glove feels pretty good um jimping's a pretty shallow it's not too aggressive at all so it really doesn't lock in the cloth glove but i do feel it um the overall ergonomics of the handle uh do allow me to lock it in plus the cutout there my middle finger just kind of drops into that 
eye, boom, and uh, I have a pretty good grip. Plus, it's a, a little wider handle, so I can have like a full hammer grip on it and feel okay. As far as finding the liner lock, it is a liner lock, by the way. I feel like I forget to mention that sometimes. Finding the liner lock and finding the flipper tab are a piece of cake. Um, they're definitely evident. The glove does not slip on the flipper tab. And the liner lock is easy to disengage too close to the knife. So, yeah. Does it pass? Heck yes. Uh, pretty good. I would have liked a little bit better jimping on top. So I will give it a A-. minus, A- minus for the best tech eye of raw. So there you have it, guys. This is my review of the uh, best tech eye of raw. Really awesome blade. Um especially for the price like under 55 bucks uh i didn't see it on blade hq so i saw it on uh knife center so i will leave links in the description below but if you want just kind of a cool knife or even just like a gift knife this thing's really cool who is it for uh anyone who has a lot of slicey jobs to do slicing open packages um you know even just for lunch and food prep uh, it, it is a bit too heavy for me to personally recommend it for hiking. Um, you know, you know, if you're carrying something this big, you might as well just get a fixed blade. <laughs> um, but uh, two, just to kind of show off or hang out with buddies or whatever you want to do, it is a cool piece to kind of show off and a good talking piece. Uh, Size-wise, it's kind of big, so you might not be a good uh, urban EDC. Uh, but nevertheless, it's a it's a really cool, fun knife for a really decent price. So there you have it, guys. Uh, that's my review of the Best Tech Eye of Raw. Uh, be sure to check it out in the links below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and always feel free to leave me any other knife recommendations that you think I should check out. Thank you, guys. Take care. And uh, peace. I'll see you outside.